Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are watching, um, yes, I am drinking wine, Moscato, it is New Year's Eve, and needed. Yay! Um, today I just kind of want to talk to you about what I learned in 2016 and what I'm looking forward to in 2017, plus just a little talk about life. Um, I, as you know, I started this YouTube channel to help anybody in general, I guess, um, from things I've also am still going through and dealing with. I'm just telling this and I'm bringing you through it. It's not like I'm an expert on anything for that matter, but I just wanted to, um, do this YouTube, YouTube channel with anybody who's also having issues or problems and just doesn't want to feel like they're alone. Even if I can only help one person, that is my goal. I don't need a million followers. I don't need anything. I just want other people to know they're not alone in life. So in 2016, basically the year started off pretty, pretty rough for me. Um, I just remember being at a really, really low point from like January to February and I pretty much like shut out people. And I did that mainly because I felt shut out. So I just went along with my little pity party and um, kept, I felt that I had no friends and I felt like nobody cared about me. So I just kind of went along with that and just kind of hung out by myself and got really depressed. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to go anywhere. I just wanted to stay at home. And I think that's okay if you know that you're kind of doing that which I kind of knew in the time that I was, I was like, I just don't want to do anything. Like, I'm just sad. I'm tired 24 seven. And it took me a couple of months after that. No, we're not playing. It took me a couple of months after that to realize that I was depressed. Um, but I do have a couple of great people in my life who have always been there for me and, you know, did care about me and kind of got me back into my groove. So thank you to my best friends and Kyle because he puts up with a lot of shit for me. So um, I also learned in 2016 though, um, I was I was so tired and stressed and freaking out about what everyone thought about me and I cared how people perceived me. And I, a lot of people tell me that they're like, I'm surprised that you were sad. You, you come across as a really happy, positive person outgoing, which yeah, I, I am that way. But I'm, I maybe, which is weird because I, I feel like everybody knows how I feel at all times because I just kind of, my emotions are out there. I don't, I don't know how people hide their emotions. I'm really bad at that. But apparently I was really good at hiding that I was sad because I've had a lot of people tell me that I never come across sad. I always come across happy and outgoing, which was weird to me because I was going, this year has been the hardest year I think I've ever gone through actually, um, just with growing up and realizing that, you know, realizing who my friends are and realizing how I don't want to be treated and realizing how certain people made me feel. And even if they weren't really necessarily mean to me or made me feel shitty, um, how like to me specifically but how they made me feel about myself and that just brought me down and I didn't want to do that anymore and it was very hard to cut things and people and out of your life and it's very hard to um declutter things that you're used to I mean I went through and unfollowed a million people subscribe like a million people on snapchat and instagram and twitter people that i don't really need to know what they're saying it's useless information to me it's more time to scroll through my phone to not be in my reality life than just watching other people's stuff on their social media and um i got rid of all that and i cut down a lot i'm decluttering Everything I don't need or use, it's just clutter. It's just making, it's stressing me out. So then when I get home from work or anything, I'm just like, there's so much to do. I don't want to do any of it. And um, that just keeps, it makes you keep going down in this downward spiral. You just need to one day get up and be like, you know what? I'm done. I'm, I'm changing. I'm not doing this anymore. And you can, you can do it. And it's awesome. Like I just got rid of over half my closet and I walk in my bedroom now and I'm like, oh, I feel so free when I walk into my bedroom. It's so clean and there's not random stuff everywhere that I don't need or use and it's awesome. I love it. So rec seriously, I recommend everybody declutter and get rid of stuff you don't use anymore. Um, also for 2016, I realized that, which I've heard a million times, but happiness is not 
a destination. Happiness is a mood. And I'm always like, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Well, yeah, sometimes I am happy for a little bit. And then I'm like, I'm just, I'm sad all the time. I'm not happy. And the happiness is just like being sad. You're not, you, it's not someplace that you're like, okay, once I get this, I'm going to be happy. Like once I finish this, I'm going to be happy. It's not like that. There are other obstacles that are going to come up once you accomplish A, B, C, or D. Happiness is a mood that you feel. It is not someplace that, like I remember thinking, okay, once I finish college and I'm done working two jobs to get myself through, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to have a real big girl job and I'm going to be happy. And then I got my real big girl job and I'm st I still wasn't happy. And then I'm like, okay, well, if I get this, I'm going to be happy. Get that. I'm not gonna. Be, I wasn't happy. It's you, it's a mood. It is not something that you're going to achieve by getting certain things done in life. You need to just accept your life, accept your past, accept who you are. And although it's happy and I'm hard and I'm still, still very, very much working on that. You have to let go of things that aren't, that are leading you down negative and you can get happy. You can be happy on days and then sad the next day because something sad happened to you. That is fine. And I hate when people say this, like things could get worse. Things can get worse for you. There's a, it's always worse. Like, you know, somebody out there has it worse than you. Okay. But guess what? That doesn't change the fact that right now in this moment, I'm sad because my, someone just hit my car or for example, like that doesn't make, that doesn't mean that I can't be sad about this one thing. Be sad, embrace it, be sad, and then get over it and figure out how you can be happy from there on out. You don't need to, I was just like, oh, someone else there has it worse than me. Because yeah, of course, everybody has it worse than somebody in some point in their life. But if you just keep saying that and you're not dealing with your real feelings, you're just going to have a blow up moment. And I think that's what was happening a lot with me is blowing up and... Um, I just, I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm doing this YouTube channel. I'm being blunt, rambling. I'm being honest. This is honestly me. There's nothing to hide. I'm not editing anything. What well, try sometimes if I like say something crazy and I need to cut it out because it's blah, 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 blah. But I'm, this is me. This is, I'm being me. I'm just trying to help people any way I can. And I'm not anyone... See, now saying that is fucked up. Saying I'm not anyone special because I am special. I'm special. Anyways, um, for 2017, um, I'm really hoping to become a even better version of myself than I, well, I really wasn't a great person of myself this year until like the last two months. But um, I hope to become like a, just a better person this year this next coming year and to focus on taking care of myself more um last year 2016 I I started taking better care of myself I mean I lost like 20 pounds since February since last November actually 2015 so yeah I'm taking better care of myself but then I slipped off again so I need to get back on track with that and not just to be skinny and look pretty and whatever literally just to take care of myself that to me losing weight and is not just because I want to be, you know, smaller. I really just want to be healthier and take care of myself. Not that saying that people who are bigger don't take care of themselves, but I wasn't. My, my moods were causing me to eat more. Like I was just downward spiraling and I was just doing it to make myself feel better and not in a healthy way. So, um, I just want to get back on track to taking care of myself and, um, I don't know how to word this, I guess, but I just, I feel like taking care of yourself sometimes can be really hard when you are worried about what everyone thinks about you. And I was, I was doing that for sure. And I wasn't happy and I was just gaining weight because I was just, I wasn't content with myself and food was making me feel better. Food was my outlet, which is a lot of people's problems, I think. And some people don't eat when they have, when they're feeling that way and I, not gonna lie, sometimes I wish that was me, but it's not. Or you know how people are like, oh, I'm too busy, I can't eat. I'm like, shit, I plan my busy day around when I can eat then, because I'm so busy I need to figure out where I can eat in between there. Yeah, big girl problems. But anyways, um, I, I just wanna keep doing better. I wanna get better at a lot of things in 2017, and I wanna plan more, I wanna keep decluttering my life more. 
um, get, rid of, get rid of things I don't need, and I just want to be a better person to my friends, to my fiance, who will be my husband in 2017, which is still so weird to me. When you have a, when you are dating someone for 11 years, we just celebrated our 11 year anniversary. So when you have a boyfriend for 11 years, and then you're, they're your fiance, and you keep saying boyfriend because fiance is like this new term, and then like to be like, he's gonna be my husband. I'm super excited about it, but it's super weird to think about because it's like, oh my God, we started dating in seventh grade. Like whoever thought you'd be my husband, like, or my fiance, like, it's just, it's crazy, it's weird. It's cool, but, um, so, I, there's just so many good new things that are gonna happen in 2017, and I'm super excited about what's gonna happen, and I'm just trying to be more honest with people, and journal, and planning, and just being real, and honest, and if I don't wanna do something, before, I used to be so scared of being left out that people would invite me to do things, and even if I was super tired, I would do them because I didn't want to feel left out or I thought that people were going to talk about me if I didn't go and I was freaking out. And this year I started to become more of an introvert and I, if I don't feel like going out or doing something with people, I just don't do it. And I'm just honest about it. I don't make up a lie like I'm sick or whatever. Just I'm not feeling like it. That's fine. Be honest people. People will appreciate you more for being honest than lying about it. And if you, if they're like, hey, I want to do this, and you're like, eh, I don't want to do that, so I'll just stay home. That's fine if you do it, but I'm just going to stay at home. Like, I don't feel like it. There's nothing wrong with being yourself, and I'm always so jealous of those who, like, know who they are and are so set in their ways in a good way and um, have their, their priorities figured out, and that's something I lack. And in 2017, that's something I want to grow and find is figuring out who I am, as a person, because I don't have it all together, I can just sway who I am depending on like depending on like what I see or you know if I, someone like gets me going and I can watch something, I'll be like, oh yeah, I get that. Okay, I'm for this way now. And I mean, obviously with big things, I do have my side, but I'm I'm very suaded to go. Is that a word? Suaded. I don't know, but either way, I can go both sides. I can do. I, I don't know. I need to be more myself, figure who I am, and stick to it and be okay with that. And I've said this before, but if you, people don't want to be your friend anymore or want to hang out with you, you don't need them. Why do you want to hang out or date or do anything with somebody who doesn't want to do something with you? I just, to me, that blows my mind. Like, if someone doesn't want to hang out with you, why do you want to hang out with someone who doesn't want to hang out with you? Like, value and respect yourself more than that. And that's the key, guys. That's the key. I think I don't know what I'm talking about I'm not a professional I'm just ranting and rambling and just going off the handle normal Kayla stuff but um, I just I hope that everyone for the new year can just sit down and make a plan or a goal for what they want to accomplish and actually do it make little goals to get to your big goal and declutter which I've said a million times I always do that oh anyways um, but just Figure out your life. If there's something you want to achieve, you can do it. You really can. You just, it's going to take time. Like, I was like, I want to have a YouTube channel and be successful. And I don't have that many people who watch or subscribe, which is fine. Like, if only 10 people watch my video, 10 people watch my video. That's awesome. Cool. They probably don't watch the whole thing because I ramble a lot. But still cool because do, do what you want to do with your life. Like, you really can do anything you want to do. And I know it sounds so cliche. But it's so true. But you have to accept that you're going to fail along your way, along the way. You're going to have to accept that it's not going to happen overnight. And you just need to make goals to do that. That's the problem with most people failing is they don't make goals in order to do that kind of stuff. You got to, you just, you got to do that. If there's something you want to do, you just got to work really hard and hope that you'll have people that will support you no matter what. And those are the people that you want to stick around. Um... But anyways, so make a goal, accomplish it, you can do it. 2017, I feel like it's going to be a great year. 2016 was rough, very, very rough. I've, I've, in my last video I talked about my coworker passing away and I have never had anyone close to me pass away, which I know I'm very thankful for, but my mom's side of the family, I don't have grandparents on, I only have a side of my mom's family, it's just pretty much my mom. So... I was already only have one set of grandparents and so that limits the people in my life I guess that could die but um, so dealing with the death of a coworker, I 
at first it's it's still even hard to believe and I think that took a bigger toll on me than I even realized it did um and it, it's fucking sad like it just sorry for swearing I have a potty mouth so I've been keeping it kind of clean lately but um it's it's crazy to think about all the times you've taken advantage of knowing somebody and seeing them and hanging out with them and it's crazy how much things how fast things can happen and change in the blink of an eye so that's why uh, maybe that's why I've changed I don't know I I just don't want to go through life anymore being fake and like not living my life to the fullest obviously there's days where I just lay on the couch all day and watch Netflix because Netflix is awesome but that's fine like do that be yourself like quit you don't have to make excuses for everything you do just do them live your life be happy Surround yourself with happy, positive people that you love. Like, it's, in the end, it's, life can be more complex than you think, but it's also so simple. Like, you just, you gotta find your way because at the blink of an eye, anything can happen. Anyone can go somewhere else or move or pass away. And, yeah, it's, it's not fair, but I think, you know, that's how life is. And I don't know if I, I don't know if I always believe that there's always a reason for everything, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out because I i can't think of a reason that good people have to pass away so young or so for stupid reasons, but I don't know. Maybe one day I'll see a point behind it, but as of now, I'm just, I'm just trying to justify everything that's happening. So I'm going to end this rant here because now I don't even know I'm going off on, but I just seriously, I want everyone to have a great New 2017, I want everyone to be happy and find their way and just, ugh. if you need to find your way, the song that changed my life is Scars to Your Beautiful because I literally was just sad and depressed and so much anxiety and just trying to find my way and one day that song came on the radio and I've heard it a million times before that, but one day I finally listened to the words and I turned it up and like since then, I just feel like I've been a different person. Like. That song literally changed my life, and I know it's stupid and cliche, but it's, maybe that's just what I needed, just one thing to change my life and my perspective, so, anyways, I hope everyone has a good 2017, um, and has, has great things happen to them, and if you have bad things happen to you, I hope you find your way through them, and I hope everyone has a safe New Year's Eve, drink wine, don't drive, there's no such thing as too much wine. Just kidding, there is. You'll get a headache in the morning. But anyways, I hope everyone has a good day. Thanks for listening. If you made it on this video, love you. Any questions, comments, like, subscribe, you can get a hold of me. Bye.